<laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is 820, and I just can't help but share this. <laughs> it is so cute. This is Amanda Christian, and, um, well, she's one of my besties, you guys. I love her so very much. <laughs> and her dogs, you know, I'm on the phone with her all the time, and <laughs> Rufus's, Rufus's and Stinkers. <laughs> this is just too cute. Let's take a look, y'all. This is just adorable. Here we go. Tawny, are you ready for the rapture? Are you ready? Are you ready? Up. <laughs> Up. 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 Good boy. That's so cute. Rufus is. Are you ready for the rapture? Are you ready? Good boy. I did it. <laughs> he says, no, I want the whole thing. Are you ready for it? Oh, you're ready. You're ready. <laughs> Tony, are you ready? Are you ready, Tony? Tony, are you ready for the rapture? We're leaving. We're leaving. Up. Good boys. <laughs> Rufus, are you coming? Are you coming, Rufus? <laughs> Rufus is. Rufus is. Rufus is. Okay, get down. Get down, Rufus is. Are you Rufus ready for the rapture, Rufus? Say amen. Say amen. Amen. <laughs> <It's funny laughs> dogs. Stickers. Here, stickers. He's a good boy. Are you guys ready? We're leaving. Are you guys ready to go? We're leaving. We're leaving, stickers. Tony Benzoni Jesus in the in the coming. in the background there. No more fleas. No more bugs. <laughs> no more uh, no more all that stuff that you come across outside. <laughs> yep, you guys, Jesus is coming. Is Jesus funny. is coming. And we are leaving soon. We are out of here soon. <laughs> Rufus is smiling. Rufus? Rufus? Rufus's? Rufus's, say hi. Say hi, Rufus's. It's so cute. <laughs> I just want to say, you guys, <laughs> you know, it's the craziest thing. You know, it doesn't say anything about animals in Scripture, except for it does say that all life, the spirit that God has given to all life, goes right back to God. That's in Scripture. Um, now... I'm going to say a few things on this because there has been people that came against Amanda about, oh, the dogs are not going in the rapture, this and that and the other. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't agree because I have been told many a time, I've had many, many, many confirmations on it, uh, that uh, our pets, our animals are going to go in a rapture. And... Um, as a matter of fact, sorry you guys, I'm trying to get my device to work here. Oh, let's get that back on the right page. Oh, it's being a bear, y'all. All right, so one more time. Here we go. All right. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to say a few things about this. You know, it says in the Bible that he will give us the desires of our heart. And then, you know, it, we know that God is love. It says in John, plainly, that God is love. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also it says that um, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard the things that the Lord has for those who love him. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. So I just want to say that um, there was a sister on here and this was uh, a while back um, one day I my, one of my little dogs Scooby Dooby Doo passed and I love Scooby so very much I miss him you guys just have no idea I had him since he was three weeks old all the way up to he was almost 13 and he died of a heart murmur and these little dogs sometimes they get that depending on the breed and um, the dog that I have now, I took over for my mother 
because my mama passed. I took care of my mama here in the house, and um, she had cancer, and we had just got this little dog because her dog of 14, 14 or 15 years passed. And the dog that I have now, her name is Tinkerbell. And I was crying over Tinkerbell one day. And I was saying to the Lord, I was I was just crying to him, saying, Lord, I don't I don't want to leave her. I don't want uh, yeah, I want to go into rapture, but what is she gonna do? If there is no she'll run out of water, she'll run out of food. You know, what's the, she's only four pounds, what is she gonna do? And I was actually very I was very distraught about it all day crying about it and um, well the next day this woman put a video out and uh, she said she had a dream 17 years ago and that it was about a woman it was about the rapture and about a white uh, a woman that had a white t-shirt on that was worried about her dog not going in the rapture. Well, I wear white t-shirts, you guys. I cannot wear anything but white cotton. I'm allergic to everything. So, <sighs> when I heard this the next day, it was like the Lord just saying, Rest in me, rest in me, little one. Your doggy's going, don't you worry. And I got... So many confirmations on Scooby-Doo a few years back, a couple of years back prior to Tinkerbell and uh, me getting upset that day. I just want to let you guys know, yes, our animals are going with us. I don't care if it doesn't say it in the Bible. I, I, I don't care. I know what the Lord has told me over and over. I've had at least... Probably about six, seven confirmations from the Lord. That our animals are going with us. And the pets that we do love dearly are going to be there with us. So, you know, there are animals in heaven. There's horses. You know, there are other animals in heaven already. According to the book of Revelation. So, I cannot see where the Lord, a God of love... Because, you know, love is eternal. And God is love. I cannot see where he would not give us the desires of our heart as far as something that would be within his will. And I know that within his will is love. Because he made us to be relational beings. That's what it means to be made in his image. Is to love him and to love one another. It's about love. It's not about a set of rules, and regulations, and laws. It is about something that comes from your heart. That, you know, when the Holy Spirit comes in, then our will, with His will, communing together. That's why we say, I know I'm a sinner, and I don't like what I do, Lord, and I'm sorry for it. And I thank you so very much for dying on the cross for me and for paying my sin debt. And we have a thankful heart after that. And and we want to be good because we love God, because we're so thankful for him that he has set us free from the law. That agape love through faith comes out in us. And it is not anything to do with the law. It has to do with our heart. It has to do with, like I said, the spirit communing with our spirit, producing all the fruits of the, lo of, of, of the Lord God, which is of love. It's about the circumcision of the heart, not, not the circumcision made with hands. And that's what he truly wants. You know, some people want to say that, um, well, 
okay, you grace people, all you want to do is you just want to sin. You just want to live it up. Woo woo. You have a big old party and just do what you want. But I'm here to tell you, I do not think that that is the truth. You know, I'm not saying that we don't get in the world, some of us. Everybody can get in the world at any time. At any given time, as a matter of fact, the flesh, uh, giving it an occasion, it can sin at any given time. And I'm talking about the people that are under law, too. So, you know, the Lord works with us. He is our shepherd. He prods us along with his uh, nook, and it's out of love. We're his children. You treat your children with love. And respect, if you give them condom, get condemnation, guilt, and shame, well, what you're going to get out of that is rebellion. Um, our words are very strong. They can either uh, heal, mend, and or they can condemn. And the more that you condemn somebody, the more that you can be estranged from them because you're making them feel bad about themselves. And they don't want to hear it. And you know it says in the Bible that your words have the power to heal. You know, your your words are, are, you know, life and death, it says in the Bible. And what that means, that doesn't mean that you can create something, that you can make something happen. But what it does mean is if you keep telling somebody they're no good, well, they just might live up to your expectations. So the best thing that we need to do for anyone in our life is to give them grace, love, and mercy. The same thing that God has given us. Forgiveness. You'll be surprised what grace will produce. You guys have a beautiful and blessed day in our Lord today. Amen and amen.